മുഴുവൻ മോഹിപ്പിക്കുന്ന സംഗീതവുമായി തൻ്റെ ജീവിതം തന്നെ സംഗീതത്തിന് വേണ്ടി മാറ്റിവെച്ച ഒരു മഹാപ്രതിഭ സ്വന്തമായി രാഗങ്ങൾ കണ്ടുപിടിച്ച അതിലുപരി മോഹന വീണ എന്നൊരു പുതിയ ഇൻസ്ട്രുമെൻ്റ് തന്നെ ഇൻവെൻറ്റ് ചെയ്ത ഒരു ഗ്രേറ്റ് മ്യൂസീഷ്യൻ ഭാരതം പത്മഭൂഷൺ നൽകി ആദരിച്ച ലോകം ഗ്രാമി അവാർഡ് നൽകി ആദരിച്ച ആ മഹാപ്രതിഭ പത്മഭൂഷൺ പണ്ഡിത് വിശ്വമോഹൻ ഭട്ട് വെൽക്കം ടു ഫസ്റ്റ് പേഴ്സൺ താങ്ക് യു സോ മച്ച് ഫോർ ബീങ് ഹിയർ ഇറ്റ്സ് എൻ ഓണർ ഇറ്റ്സ് എ പ്രിവിലേജ് ആൻഡ് ഐ എം ഷുവർ എവറിബഡി ഹിയർ യു നോ വി ആർ സോ ആക്ച്വലി this is our first experience having somebody of your repertoire here with us um, and uh, we really you know we are actually quite tensed uh, in receiving you and you know having you here but uh, thank you so much uh, like you know we are a new channel relatively oh, really? uh, it's just been a few months since we be, uh, we've been on air but you know it's definitely uh, one of the greatest blessings that you agreed to come here you agreed to be here with us thank you so much this uh, is uh, my pleasure Thank you very much and I wish all the best to this channel. Thank you very much. So let me start off by asking uh, the Mohan Veena. This is your creation, right? This is uh, absolutely your creation and yeah. this is your brain child, right? Now uh, how does it uh, how does somebody get inspired to create an instrument like this and you know Yes, yes. Where does your inspiration come from? I think this story is now 50 years yes. old. <laughs> But we would like to hear it directly yes, yes, from yes. the uh, In my family the music was there for last uh, 300 years wow. and the traditional Indian classical music uh, was uh, there there. Uh, my father, my mother they were vocalist and then I and my brothers they started uh, playing the musical instruments rather than the vocal. Okay. I was playing sitar for some time but because we were very close to Pandit Ravi Shankar, uh, the Bharat Ratna and the greatest musician of India. Uh, so sitar was our instrument in our family. So I was also playing sitar. But uh, when I was like 15 years uh, or something, uh, a lady came from Germany. Mm-hmm. rather a young girl came from germany okay. to learn from my father indian music on guitar okay so that was the for, for the first time i saw the instrument okay and uh, i was like attracted to both of them the girl and the guitar <laughs> <laughs> so finally i chose the guitar to to, to indianize that okay in my um, humble manner and uh, i'm glad your wife padma must be relieved <laughs> <laughs> Padma came up five years after that. Okay. <laughs> Pretty young age. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, 20 when okay. I was. So, <clears throat> uh, what I was having in my mind that there should be something of, uh, of my own, number one. Number two, it should have the sound and techniques of all the traditional Indian instruments like sitar, sarod, veena, santur, sarangi, all into one. All into one. That was my dream. So what I did that I removed those six strings of that German uh, uh, guitar, guitar and I started putting new strings to to make it suitable for playing Indian classical music like we have in other instrument. So what I did that I put this bridge then I put sympathetic strings these are called tarab they work as resonators right we don't have to strike them they resonate automatically on the oh. principle of physics okay. when the same frequency is there and we play on the main string huh. these strings they vibrate automatically oh, so oh, this oh. is not my invention this is like 1000 <laughs> years back okay. also they did okay. and uh, i put this uh, tumba here uh-huh. uh, like similar to the similar uh, to other indian instruments, instruments and it is good to hold this instrument like this uh-huh, okay. and also providing the bass here okay and then these two fingers are there one thumb is there yeah. and uh, this steel rod is there in my left hand okay. and i hold it like a pen is okay. is my own style okay so that the gravity because of the gravity some people hold like this also but it goes down right, right. so what i invented is i mean i hold it like this so that i can slide it right. with the speed like this right. so this is a uh, and then uh, people yes. told me this is no more guitar so yes. don't call it guitar <laughs> and that's how it i named it as mohan, mohan veena mohan is my middle name yeah 
Mohan is uh, the uh, the meaning Mohan uh, means mm. charmer, right? Yes, yes. So you charm with your veena, with your music, right? No, I I'm telling you, <laughs> yes, I'm not asking you, I'm I telling you know. that is what I you do. I don't know that. <laughs> we know that as listeners, we know that. So just to explain to our audience, uh, generally uh, six strings in a guitar. But in this instrument, le Pandit Ji, one of the strings are not added. I mean, if you look at the card, I mean, if you look at the card, I mean, but in this card, you know, there are a lot of strings, right? Yeah, string. A lot of uh, strings and a lot of physics has gone into this. This is totally my, not my uh, yeah. genre, but all I understand is when we hear this instrument, it is divine, and you know, it is um, what you have done is taken. A Western instrument, Indianized it, yes. and taken it to the highest level of Indian music. And our Tanya Anna Tirshaytum Pandijida, eighty million ru achievement in the world. Other than our three Puradana might have Veena, Sarod, these instruments are kind of item. In another instrument, Kondu Anna Pandijida, you have taken it to a to the highest yes. level of Indian music. Yes. And that is, uh, you know, we are blessed to be living in this yes. generation Thank where. You. You have <laughs> created such magic. No, no, I am not that. <laughs> But yeah, I I try to promote Indian classical music all over the world. This is I am very humbly because before me so many artists did this. But uh, I am also uh, one no. of them that uh, in eighty countries I have performed and uh, trying to reach out any uh, you know everywhere. Like in in Dubai, uh, these uh, three brothers. Uh, uh, Ramnathan, Ramnathan and Vedinathan and his brother Mahadev, Mahadev, they are doing a wonderful job. Because I was like surprised to see this young people are so devoted to Indian classical music that they have taken this oath to promote Indian classical music in the Gulf country, yes. Dubai, and for that Vasant Ustavam, that uh, Vasant Ustavam, uh, I am here for that. That is uh, on the 30th. in up. indian consulate uh, this auditorium yes so uh, this this kind of people really help indian classical music in, in to reach out Absolutely. to the general public uh, and show what depth this music has how traditional music is this yes. even then there are so many experiments and we take all the improvisation and liberty in, into a rag within yes. the framework within yes. the tradition how we do it making make it uh, interesting because yes. there are only seven is notes yes so seven notes what you can do in seven notes for one hour yeah. that is a challenge for the musician themselves also yes. because uh, each rag has uh, its own color its mood and emotion and how a musician does that to bring different kinds of mood into one rag yes that is uh, a, a musician's uh, challenge yes and i've always seen that you have uh, you're very keen on experimenting with different uh, instruments right yes, you yes. have a different set of musicians each time you play I either it's a sarod or a sarangi or a flute yes, or yes. mridangam this time it's going to be a flute, flute. mridangam and the tabla yes or when you choose these instruments is there so, any particular reason that you choose uh, over each period or is it because you want to keep trying new uh, combinations see, uh, yeah both way see flute has different nature yes just different sound this has just different sound tabla has its own mridangam, mridangam has its own sound yes so i mean how to collaborate and how to come up as one performance as one that is the, the thing the challenge so, yeah yes. so uh, and then there are there is the the jugalbandi is between the two system in india carnatic and hindustani. hindustani so i will represent hindustani me and ram kumar and shashank and uh, Patri Satish Kumar will be there on Mridangam yeah. for Karnataka music. Karnataka music. Yes. So I think this is the best national integration I <laughs> Absolutely. can call. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I think already we have a lot of divide uh, otherwise you know culturally and all but music is something that is uniting everybody. Yes, seven I've musical notes are the same. Only the style how 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 they treat that music and how uh, the gamak and murkis and khatkas and taan and everything how they they do it is different only thing what i always say that these seven musical notes can unite the whole universe Absolutely. otherwise there is difference of uh, language uh, culture and religion yes. but when it comes to seven musical notes i think 
there is nothing universal. beyond that. It is universe and it can unite the whole, whole world together. Absolutely. Yes. I've always seen that you've been very, uh, very keen on promoting world peace and you know, on that note, is there any particular rag that you would dedicate, you know, to world peace and, uh, yeah. you know? Usually, Yaman Rag is such rag that, uh, that that has the spiritual true. mood into it. It's one of the highest rags in, uh, in Hindustani Hindust vocal, right? Yes, yeah. yes, yes. All the beginning, all of the students, all I mean, any student of Hindustani music have to Yaman. know Yaman. Yes. Uh, I, I would like to play for a minute how I, I did this and how can we play Yaman Rag. Mm. Uh, in a diff diff different style. Okay. Okay. <laughs> like this is like uh, spirituality when comes it is. Start with slowly alap and alap. then we go little fast your mm -hmm. part. Mm -hmm. Usually we play with tabla, mm. that the film bit cut, but uh, uh, now it's Mridangam with me, yes. Mahadevan. So, so I will play a little bit with him. Same rag or different? Same can rag I, or? Uh, oh, I can play. Is there any Carnatic composition? Carnatic, I, I usually play Hansa Dhoni. Hansa Dhoni. Or Charu Keshi okay, or Okay, then whatever. we'll get that later. So then <laughs> so now? I can play Hansa yeah. Dhoni little bit. Oh.
one of your favorite compositions in yes. Karnatic. Vata pi Ganapati na lai yuri part Malayali elka alingil. Ellavarukum Karnataka sangeeta stripper ta ellavarukum arinda yuri part ana. Adha yuri yuri instrument in the sound le pandji na arthna kerkam vechile. Yerche item I think idlum yuri anigram very illa. Pandji now you have been uh, collaborating with uh, you uh, like you know you you told about how you would like to collaborate with uh, different kind of instruments. We know about your achievements, your Grammy award, and you know yes. you have always been keen on uh, collaborating with Western musicians and yes, you know yes. people that normally Indian musicians wouldn't uh, you know think about <laughs> much. Some traditional and so-called ortho orthodox musicians, they don't like to experiment and. Uh, True. especially with western musician yes because uh, usually people and critics they they blame you that you are diluting yes. the traditional classical music by doing this fusion music yes. but it, actually it's not that yeah. because what we do with the musicians of western countries is that we don't change our music uh -huh. we we are not the one who who just play we will play western music on this yes instead okay. what we we keep like this only mm -hmm. this purity we maintain and according to that the western musicians also they adopt we yes. adopt and then we come to one point that oh this will be a Work one together. one one uh, stream will go there together. is fusion but not confusion not confusion Correct. <laughs> <laughs> and we and no one of us loses the purity of yes. their their stream of music yes. that is the thing you know my guru pandit ravi shankar ji in the beginning he was also being uh, criticized that he has gone to western oh, <laughs> countries and doing sitar with western musicians uh, but uh, the music never changed it Absolutely. was rock classical music he made yahudi men sahab to play rag tilang over violin oh. his composition he played oh wow so this was <laughs> it was baseless uh, blame on any yes. musician so i have also played uh, and uh, combined with so many musician in especially uh, with the raikuder the meeting by the river by for the which river, i yes. got the with grammy in 94 before that also i made some some fusion music and in 97 my another album was uh, nominated for the grammy okay. that was uh, with a chinese lady musician okay. and uh, bella fleck okay. the american uh, artist uh, he he's a uh, four time grammy award winner right so that was nominated and then i also combined with uh, jerry douglas a very famous uh, dobro guitar player right taj mahal and uh, <coughs> one musician who is very very talented on oud oh. the arabian right. oud oh, uh. simon shahin okay and we made uh, this album Sultana mm. the Sultana, album's yes. name is Sultana which is one of my best i like because uh, arabian music and indian music they come together sometimes yes. only in this system in arabian uh, system mm. the swaristhan is little different okay otherwise it is common all over the world like How is if that? we play uh, our charu keshi okay But even no, but then, we when we Indian uh, musicians when we listen to that, we are not able to grasp what is the difference. But yeah. now you've demonstrated no, exactly. Yeah. So, but here. <laughs>
ഐ തിങ്ക് ഷാരുഖേഷി എന്നുള്ള ഒരു രാഗം മലയാളികൾ കേൾക്കുകയാണെങ്കിൽ വളരെ ഫേമസ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള ഒരു പാട്ടാണ് That is a very popular song. Come on, sing a little bit. Yes, <laughs> okay. very nice, very nice. Akali, akali, nila dasham, alatalumi khatil. Harigilende hridaya dasham, la 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 la. Yes. And it's very high. ഇൻവേസ് ദ്ലോസർ ടു അസ്